Hey, Cam, appreciate you taking the time today. Uh, no problem. We'll get started here with Ruben Frank and then Ed Kratz. Okay. Hey, Cam. Uh, belatedly, welcome to Philadelphia. Uh, I, I wanted you. to I wanted to ask you about your journey here because you know you haven't played a lot of football since since 2018, and just kind of how you got through that. A um, couple snaps with the Browns, but what what the experience has been like finally getting a chance to get on the field? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, I think the main thing was just trying to stay resilient. You know, I had to stay through a lot of uh, a lot of practices, doing a lot of extra work when I'm not going to play. So I feel like uh, I had to stay mentally tough from that standpoint. But, you know, I, I, I kind of – I'm thankful for that journey as far as it made me uh, it made me tough. It made me uh, very mentally strong to be able to deal with a lot of things and um, just wait my time and be patient. So I'm thankful for that process as long as it has been, but it made me who I am. So Go ahead, Ed, and then Bo. Yeah, hi, Cam. Uh, why stick with it? You know, I mean, a lot of guys do, a lot of guys don't. But what, what made you stick with, uh, you know, stick with trying and, and persevering? Um, so I think it's kind of, uh, you know, I have people counting on me. You know, I have people that look up to me. And, I, you know, I have a family back at home that I have a little brother that plays football. You know, I have to set that example for him. Uh, and it's just kind of who I am. I'm just a hard worker. Um, I'm kind of Whenever I'm tunnel vision and focus on something, I, I never give up on it. So um, I think it was just a part of me being who I am um, more than uh, more than a choice of if I'm going to do this or not, if that makes sense. Go ahead, Bo, and then Dave. Hey, Cam, who has been uh, who has been helpful for you here? Has there been anybody in particular who has who has helped you during your time with the Eagles? Man, I've had a lot of people. Uh, helped me since I've been in the building. Uh, I was just talking to Jordan earlier, and he was telling me about how, you know, we've we've been going at it. Um, iron Shoppers Iron, we've been going at it every single day, um, just battling, man. So he, he's he been a great been a great help for me. Uh, Coach Wash has been good, Coach Rock. Um, and I had, you know, the whole D-line, you know, they encouraged me to still come in every day. And, you know, working with those guys is just so fun to go out there every day with some really good guys. So, um I think that made the process easier also. It's just coming in with dudes that care about you, you care about them, and y'all have one mission to win, and it was just a good process. Dave and then Mike. Hey, Ken. Uh, tell me about your brother. How old is he? What's his name, and, and where does he play? Uh, my little brother's Caden Farrell. Um, he's also in Beaumont, Texas, where I'm from. Uh, he just made the Super Bowl team in football. You know, this is his second year on varsity, so he's been doing good. Um, he's 17 years old and I'm excited about him, man. He's a tackle, you know, he's on the dark side, but, uh, but I think Kane will be all right, man. But he definitely looks up to me to my mom. Well, well, he doesn't want to tell me personally, probably because his little brother looking at the big brother, but my mom tells me how much he looks up to me and, um, just how much he can't stop talking about me. So that means a lot to me as a big brother. Mike and John McMullen. Hey, Cam, uh, being reunited with Greg Ward, what's it been like watching him go from quarterback to wide receiver? And do you have any fun stories about him while the, while you guys were at Houston? Uh, man, man, I have a, I have a lot of stories about Greg, man. I'm trying to keep that, I'm trying to keep that in Houston, man. But, uh, Greg, Greg what has always been a there? great guy. Greg's always been a great guy. One of the great friends of mine. And, um, he's always been a dude that can make somebody smile, make somebody laugh. And, uh, hard worker, um, and just being over here with him is kind of fun, man. You know, we crack jokes with each other still, play around. So, you know, that's been good. John and then Jeff McLean. Yeah, Mike stole my thunder there, Cam. I was going to ask you about Greg Ward, so I'll, I'll shift it up. Um, you mentioned Wash and, and Tracy Rocker. You've been with a, a couple different – NFL teams, uh, so you've had some different coaches uh, try to help you. What have what have those guys done different or done better to help you uh, progress as a player? Um, I think they've done a great job of staying really um, detail oriented and helping me become a better player. I feel like they've been uh, taking their time with me, teaching me the plays. Um, and, and the thing is, they don't they don't make me feel left out. You know, maybe some some teams I didn't really feel like I was as involved, but they make sure to do a great job of keeping me involved in the game plan so that whenever the time comes, 
if ever it did come, I would be 100% ready. So I think that's something that they did a fantastic job with, and I'm very thankful to have those two coaches to help me with that. Jeff McLean and then Jeff Mosher. Cam, I've noticed that, you know, obviously you're DN, but you've been lining up some in that uh, 4i tech spot. Have you ever played there before? And uh, what is that? If not, how's that transition been? Uh, I haven't played it in the NFL. I played a little bit of it in college, but as we know, college is a completely different game. Um, but I think I'm learning how to uh, how, how to use the certain techniques that I need to be successful at it. Um, I think it comes down to, like, pad level and, you know, better use of my hands. And I think that uh, – I think I'm building that skill set to make me a more diverse defensive lineman. So um, I'm, I'm actually enjoying the 4i. Uh, it, it isn't – like I said, I haven't played in the league, but um, I'm learning it and I'm liking the process of it. Go to Jeff and then Ed. Hey, Cam, I'm, I'm wondering, I mean, obviously your journey has taken you through, through several teams and you're playing some meaningful football here, may have a chance to play in a playoff game and just what that personally would mean to you, uh, given the journey you've been through. And also, would you describe yourself as a late bloomer? Um, yeah, I kind of do think I'm a late bloomer. Uh, you know, I didn't really get that many. It, it's just crazy. I have the, the, the craziest underdog story. I feel like I was a two-star athlete out of high school Went to U of H. I definitely wasn't about to play. I, I came into U of H wearing two, weighing 205 pounds, being 6'5". So I came in there, you know, they, this guy's going to redshirt, you know. So I was always in that developmental mode in college, and I finally got my chance later when I was an upperclassman, I got that shot. So, I mean, uh, and then the NFL was an undrafted free agent. So um, I kind of always had that underdog um, – put this guy to the side type deal, but I just kept working. Uh, it's just, like I said, I'm thankful for that process because it really made me who I am. I feel like there's nothing that I can't do now, you know, being uh, being in the position that I have been in and not getting opportunities that I've had. So I'm thankful for everything, and um, I'm going to continue to work hard and do everything I can to keep elevate myself. So, And I feel like the Eagles is giving me my shot, and I feel like the Eagles is a great organization to – to, to keep that train going for me. And if you could make the playoffs that, and play in a playoff game, that would be kind of a, a oh, pinnacle would, at that man, point. Play, playing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. So going so going from that to playing in the playoff game, that would mean the world to me. That's like a dream come true. So I'm very thankful for it. We'll take one more for Cam. So go ahead, Ed. Hey, Cam, I just wanted to ask you how the opportunity with Philadelphia came about. I think you signed here at the end of the summer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but how how that all uh, come about? It was crazy. So I, um, I ended up being out of football for a couple weeks after camp, and uh, the Eagles gave me a call, and I came to work out, and I saw Wash because I because I known him from when I was in Miami. He was the he he was an offensive line assistant coach out there, and uh, so we just connected and I had a good workout. I thought I did, but they sent me back home, and I was like, man, well. Guess I've got to get back in that weight room and, you know, get stronger and faster and keep going. So they ended up calling me back a week later to sign me. So, you know, I, I don't really know how that worked out really, but uh, I'm glad it did. And, shoot, I'm just happy to be a Philadelphia Eagle. Go to Ed. Hey, Cam, I'm 